Hello, John Bloodworth Gentleman Crafter here with you. This time I'm going to show you how to weld words inside other shapes to give us an aperture. Now, basically, if you take a look here, you'll notice that these areas are blank and you can see the cutting mat grid through them. And this is a key essential to understanding if you're getting this right. So let me get rid of this one and we can start from scratch and I will show you how to achieve this. So the first thing I'm going to do is load the shape that's going to be the overall shape. So that's the biggest of the three things that we're going to put together. Next, I'm going to load the aperture. So that's going to be the hole that's in the middle. And finally, I will load the word that I want to fuse into the center of that circle. So we've got our three shapes on screen. What I'm going to do is apply a color fill to each of these as you will better understand what's happening that way. So I'll just quickly apply that. Uh, let's choose a different color for this one. And then for the word, let's just go randomly for a blue. The color fills make no difference to the final output of the cutting file they're just going to help you see on screen what's happening and why sometimes you might not achieve what you're trying to achieve. So I will align these using the alignment tools in the edit tab, just so they're sat on top of each other. And I'm going to zoom in a bit more, I think. So zoom to selected objects. Right, let's get this circle. Let's make sure I've got the circle selected. Yes, to be smaller than the outside shape. That'll be enough for this example. Obviously you can size it to your project. Then the text needs to fit generally just a bit bigger than the circle itself. So that at least two points will be on the edge of the circle. Let's align those again just to make sure they're in the right position. Now if I select these and try and weld them now, what you will see happen is everything will disappear apart from the square. That's because basically we have three shapes sat on top of each other. And by welding them in that way, we're basically smushing them together to create one flat surface. If I just move the text and the circle off to the side, you'll probably get a better idea of what's happening. So if I try and weld again here, you can see that that circle and the text have both been fused to the square. If I undo this and go back to the original, now what we need to do is actually punch this circle through the square so that we have a hole in the middle. So we select just the square and the circle, and then in the process overlap options, we choose this last one, which is subtract. Now we can see the cutting mat through there. Then to fuse the word, we select both shapes and then choose weld. Now we've successfully fused that word into the aperture. When you don't have a color fill applied, this can seem confusing and also it's very much dependent on which shape sits on top of each other as to what results you get. But as long as you follow this process of punching one shape through another to give yourself the aperture first and then fuse the word to that shape, you will succeed. So I hope that's proved useful to you and you'll give these a try in your future projects. Thanks for watching. See you next time.